Hello, hello, hello. It's Attorney Mike Gravel. I'm coming to you from an undisclosed location. I have no idea how long the Wi-Fi will hold out here. So let's let's get the party started, shall we? So let's go forward on these three. Please, uh, Mr. Al Halui, Ms. Rodriguez, Mr. Godinez, if I could just have you all please raise your right hand. Big shout out to Credence and Mikey. I've been on their channel. They're, they're, they're very cool. A bunch of people have sent this to me. I have not seen it, but just, but the <laughs> Felipe Godinez, just the outfit. The man's got an ascot on. I haven't busted out my ascot for a while, but <laughs> that's all I need. And make sure you're not muted, Ms. Rodriguez. There we go. All right, please raise your right hand. Uh, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So, be God, Mr. Alhalui. Yes. And Ms. Rodriguez. Yes. Mr. Godinez. Yes, Your Honor. All right, everybody, put your hands down. Thank you, uh, Mr. Alhalui. Please state your full name for the record. Ronnie Alhalui. And Ms. Rodriguez, state your full name, please. Vanessa Rodriguez. And Mr. Godinez, please state your name. Felipe Godinez. Godinez. Okay. Felipe. Um, Mr. Alhalui, can you read, write, and understand the English language? Yes. Can you hear and understand me? Yes. Ms. Rodriguez, can you read, write, and understand the English language? Yes. Can you hear and understand me? Yes. Uh, Mr. Uh, Gardenez, can you read, write, and understand the English language? Yes. Can you hear and understand me? Yes. All right. Uh, Mr. Alhalui, have you had a full chance to discuss this with your lawyer? Are you satisfied with his advice? Yes. All right, uh, Ms. Uh, Rodriguez, have you had a full chance to discuss this now with uh, Ms. McKenzie? Are you satisfied with her advice? Yes. And Mr. Godinez, uh, have you had a full chance to speak with Ms. Chupek, and are you satisfied with her advice? Yes. And are you good with Mr. Phillips just simply covering this portion of it? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. All right, uh, Mr. Alhoui, you're pleading guilty to operating while visibly impaired. That's a misdemeanor charge carrying with it a maximum possible fine of $300 plus costs and up to 93 days in jail, all at this court's discretion. Ms. Rodriguez, you're pleading guilty to operating while visibly impaired and allowing a licensed person to drive. Operating while visibly impaired is a misdemeanor carrying with it a maximum possible fine of $300 plus costs and up to 93 days in jail, all at this court's discretion. Uh, the allowing is a max fine of $500 plus costs and up to 93 days in jail, all at this court's discretion. Uh, Mr. Godinez, you're pleading guilty to dom domestic violence. That's a misdemeanor charge carrying with it a maximum possible fine of $500 plus costs and up to 93 days in jail, all at this court's discretion. To all of you, before you enter a plea, you should understand that you have the right to represent yourself or be represented by an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney and want to be appointed for you at public expense, you have the right to a trial either by, or by a jury. At that trial, you'd have the right to confront, cross-examine, question all witnesses brought against you. You'd have the right to have the court subpoena witnesses on your behalf. You'd have the right to testify if you wanted to, remain silent if you wanted to, and no one could say anything about you remaining silent. As you appear before this court, you're presumed innocent of these charges, and your guilt has to be proven beyond a reasonable doubt. Mr. Alhoui, do you understand that once you enter a plea, you give up all those rights that I just said that you'd have at a trial? Yes, Your Honor. You understand that, Ms. Rodriguez? Yes. You understand that, Mr. Godinez? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Mr. Alhoui, do you understand that once you enter a plea, there'll be no trial? Yes. You understand that, Ms. Rodriguez? Yes. And Mr. Godinez, you understand that? Yes. Now, each of you have received some type of uh, plea bargain or plea arrangement. Um, Mr. Alhoui, you've got a reduction in charge. Mr. Rodriguez, you've received reduction in charge. Mr. Godinez, you're going to be uh, given the opportunity to participate in uh, 769-4A, the Spouse Abuse Act. You have to complete a probationary period, uh, but you uh, could be in line to potentially keep this charge off of your record. Those are all of the offers. Other than what I've just placed on the record, all right, has there been any other offers or promises or threats that have been made in order to get you to plead? Mr. L. Louis? No. Ms. Rodriguez? No. Mr. Godinez? No. In the end, is it your own choice to enter this plea, Mr. L. Louis? Love it. Yes. Ms. Rodriguez? Yes. Mr. Godinez? Yes. Okay, Mr. L. Louis, directing your attention to... June 10th of this year, last year, 2023, uh, were you 
operating a motor vehicle in the area of this seriously looks like a Saturday Night Live Fifth street. and Center Street. In I can't even take it seriously. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. At some point in time, were you stopped by the police? Yes. And then did they have you step out of your vehicle and do field sobriety tests? Yes. And then were you placed under arrest? Yes. Uh, transported back to the Royal Oak Police Department? Yes, Your Honor. And eventually, did you participate in a blood draw? Yes. All right. And counsel, for purposes of this plea, stipulate that the um, bodily alcohol content was 0. 0.140. So stipulated, Your Honor. All right. Mr. Elderly, what did you drink to get to that bodily alcohol content? Was it beer, wine, liquor? What was it? Just a lot. Um, it was it was a while ago. I don't really remember. I, it was most likely liquor. All right. Looking back on it now, with the benefit of hindsight, would you agree that your ability to operate that vehicle in a normal manner was substantially affected by your consumption of alcohol? Yes, Your Honor. Absolutely. Satisfied, counsel? I'm satisfied, Your Honor. I too am satisfied. The plea is knowing, voluntary, and accurate. I'll accept the same. I'm going to order a pre-sentence investigation, alcohol screening, and assessment. Um, my staff will set the sentencing date. So, counsel and Mr. Ahalui, what happens from here? My staff will um, send out notice, and the notice will have two dates on it. One, your interview with probation. That'll be on Zoom. Uh, and then they prepare a report. They get that to your attorney. You and your attorney can plan for it, prepare for sentencing. The sentencing will be in person. Uh, and uh, I can't give you those dates right now. My staff does that, all right? But um, Mr. Alouie, you're, you're on top of your bond conditions, and let's continue this as it's been going. Uh, counsel, anything else for the record? Your Honor, just two brief uh, questions. I just want to make sure I'm in there as the attorney of record. Um, I took over from uh, now Judge Ellisall, and uh, I didn't... It's still, it's still him. If You just need to, if you could send a... I'll uh, send an... I'll, is it better to just send a straight appearance? I sent a substitution I, of of counsel and that didn't do it apparently no i'd say i'd send just a straight appearance on this all right and, and your honor um as to my client's bond he's currently being drug and alcohol tested um i mean he's been that's been going on since i believe he said august which is almost six months uh, with zero positives I, I understand the the need to continue for the alcohol testing but there's just increased cost with all the drug testing as well i don't know if the court would consider a modification of his bond to just do the alcohol testing um, and save him a little bit of money considering he's gone basically over half a year now with no uh, bond violations of any kind. I can't, I can't say that they won't, that there won't be some level of drug testing reinstated as part of his probation, but for now I'll remove drug screens while he's on bond. I appreciate that. I, I didn't see her. I didn't notice her before, but uh, she's got quite an outfit going as well. Hey, Your Honor, thank you. All right, um, but the alcohol testing will continue as is, which I think is once a week. All right, so we'll see everybody back here for sentencing. Good luck, Mr. Alouie. Thank you very much, Ron. Have a great day. Hi, uh, Your Honor. Can I say something? Mr. Godness, hang, hang on. I, I haven't got to you yet. Oh, uh, sorry. Thank you. I'm, I've got one more plea to take, and I'll get right to yours, okay? Cool. Thank you. My apologies. All right. Oh, boy. Uh, Ms. Rodriguez, directing your attention to... Um, June 8th of the year 2022. You're operating a motor vehicle. Bear with me one second. Were you operating a motor vehicle on Woodward Avenue near 12 Mile? Yes. Okay. And at some point in time, were you stopped by the police? Yes. Did they have you step out of your vehicle, do field sobriety tests? Yes. Then were you placed under arrest? Yes. All right. And uh, at, at some point, we transported back to the Royal Oak Police Department? Yes. Did you do a breath test there? I can't remember. Okay. Um, I, I don't know, but my best guess is they got a swing dance competition after the hearing. Also, we, <clears throat> do you stipulate that there was a blood test or a breath test that was done? Yes. Yes, that, we'll stipulate. The results were 0 0.12, 0 0.12? Yes, to stipulate to those results. Ms. Rodriguez, do you at least remember what you were drinking that night? Yes. Okay. And what were you drinking? Beer, wine, liquor? What was it? Liquor. Okay. And at the time that you that you were operating the vehicle, were you in fact allowing an unlicensed person to drive the car, that person being you? Yes. Okay. And looking back on it now with the benefit of hindsight, would you agree that your ability to operate that vehicle in a normal manner was substantially affected by that alcohol you had consumed? Yes. Okay. 
satisfied, Ms. McKenzie? Yes, I am. I too am satisfied. The plea is knowing, voluntary, and accurate. I will accept the same. Counts one and two are dismissed. Count three is the impaired. I'll accept the plea. Count four is the allowing. I'll accept the plea there. And then I'm going to order an alcohol screening assessment. <laughs> And my staff will set that up. And Ms. Rodriguez, let's see here. Is she doing her testing? Ms. Rodriguez, are you doing your testing? Yes. Okay. Stay on top of that um, because that's what I uh, that's what I utilize if I determine whether somebody needs upfront jail or whether probation makes more sense. So please stay on top of that, okay? Okay. All right. Good luck, I, Ms. Rodriguez. Ms. McKenzie. I did have one question, uh, Judge, about the about the alcohol testing. Um, is there any type of financial assistance uh, to help out at all with the testing um, that my client could either talk to pretrial services about or that your court offers? Um, she is she does work. She works at Burger King, but she has nine children and she's currently um, homeless. She's renting a room, trying to find a more oh, stable situation. Lord. Is and you know when she does her testing she has to it's it's a great a great hardship to work works at burger king with nine children i'm not condoning it but i'd be drinking too to spend that money on testing when it could be used you know for other things so is there any any available resources that you could offer or we could look into for her to help her out with the cost of testing well she's only being ordered to test twice a month, which is lower than I would normally require. Right. So my, my best advice for Ms. Rodriguez is she's got to call every day to test. And if it's her day to test and she doesn't have the money or the resources, she's to call you. All right. Um, and, uh, and and that way I know she's at least trying that okay. if she had the money, she could go. That way I know she's not ducking it because she's been drinking. And so, and then while she's on probation, we can try to figure something out. Okay. All right, I appreciate it. Do you understand that, Ms. Rodriguez? Yes, thank you. Okay. All right, so we'll see everybody back here for sentencing. Good luck, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, Judge. Okay, uh, let's see here. Uh, Mr. Godinez, you had a question before I go forward with the plea taking? Actually, I was just gonna say, uh, if we can just get Mary and our church trying of the little flower with my love link. <laughs> What? what was no, that? I was just gonna say up loud to my beautiful woman if we can just get married in our church and shrine of that little flower and forget about this nonsense. Because it's just hurt. Mr. Gardner, I would just kindly ask that maybe you <laughs> not ask that and refrain from if there's a question that you need to ask or something you need to talk, just ask. But judge, I have Corinthian leather. Speak with me, okay? All right, sounds good. Thank Mr. you. Mr. Godness, if you're trying to send a message to the victim, that would be violating your bond right in front of the judge. I didn't mean, no, okay, I see what he meant. No, not at all like that. Yeah, you're not, yeah, that's not, um, that's not starting us off on the right foot. Uh, I'm I, sorry, my right apologies. Right. I didn't mean to like in a bad way right, at all. I'm sorry. <laughs> So are we going forward? I didn't mean it in a bad way. <laughs> oh, this is so fantastic. All right, as usual, now I know why you guys send it to me. With this plea, Mr. Phillips? Yes. Uh, my understanding, yes, Your Honor. All right, Mr. Godness, um Directing your attention to November 4th of this year, 2023. Were you in, were you in the area of 2503 Oliver in the city of Royal Oak? Yes, Your Honor. And did you make an assault or assault and battery upon one Patricia Damon? Yes, I was holding her down, and without yes, I was holding her down. Yes. Okay. So you, so you, so you uh, agree that that you committed an assault. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, and this is someone with whom you had a dating relationship with. Is that correct? Yes, she's my yes, my girlfriend. My okay. He lived with me, sir. Uh, so, he lived uh, with me. And is it true, sir, that you had lived with her at the time? Yes, I was okay. living with her for a year. Yes, okay. Your Honor. okay. So satisfied, Mr. Phillips? Satisfied, Your Honor. 
And to him satisfied, the plea is knowing, voluntary. And they, they live together and they, sh they shop at the same thrift stores. Accurate, I will accept the same. Um, now, Mr. Kluzny, there is a note here from you that you're recommending 769-4A. Did you discuss this with the victim? Yes, I have, Your Honor. And does she take a position on it? Um, I believe she was okay with that based on my conversations with her. I understand she's very distraught um, at, at the moment. Well, to be fair, and that, that's, uh, Mr. Gondas, you need to understand your statement um, generated a, a, a huge um, response from the victim here that um, feels purposeful and um and the court doesn't take it lightly at all in fact the court could violate you right now just for making that kind of statement because it's obviously generated a huge emotional response and a great deal of pain for the victim and so my frustration level extraordinarily high <laughs> ma'am i will say this um, and i don't want to hear anything from you right now mr godness ma'am if you have changed your position at all on uh, your you know willingness to go along with the 769 4a which is the diversion program um, if you feel threatened in any way, shape or form, please let me know. I will say, I will say just so you know, Ms. Damon, I, um, that my probation is very in intensive and I will make sure that he follows all of the rules and, um, gets the appropriate help and, and support that's needed so that you could be safe the entire time. Uh, but ma'am, your participation in this has always been welcome. And, uh, I appreciated your, you showing up every single time. Is there something that you need me to know before I um, I set this matter for sentencing? Sorry, I'm very upset. Oh, good. Um, I feel that that is a threatening manipulation. His statement. Oh, my little flower, how can I, you do this to me? I am, I'm with you. It, 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 it feels, it felt to me the moment he said it to be extraordinarily manipulative. And, um, and, and frankly, um, one, I, it's, it's, it's a perfectly acceptable plea. Uh, I am 100% uh, on, on board with the taking of the plea. It's an appropriate plea, Mr. Phillips. Feel my pain. What's that, ma'am? Nothing, sir. I'm sorry. Okay, it's a it's an appropriate. Your Honor, I think if I heard correctly there, I think she said "feel my pain." Which, Who are you? I mean, hold on, Miss Damon. Hold on. This is the this is the attorney. <laughs> who are you? Who is covering the case today on Mr. Godinez? So, <laughs> okay, so, my apologies. I remember the other attorney. It's fine. So, 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 ma'am, here's what here's what I'm going to do. Okay, I I'm going to take into account when I sit down and plan out and decide a sentencing the sort of game that I think he tried to play right now. Um, Mr. Godness, no, listen, you don't, this, you don't get it. You don't get to determine how people respond to your statements. Okay. You have no control over that. All right. Um, wh whatever that's, whatever your intent was, that, that doesn't mean anything to me. What, what, what matters to me is the impact that I'm clearly seeing it on, on Miss Damon's face. So, um, I, I, I can't reinforce this enough. Mr. Godinez, you've been given a gift of an opportunity by the Thank prosecutor. You. All right. You. You've been given a gift of an opportunity. If I get so much of a uh, any sort of sense that there's any type of man, further manipulation, attempt to contact her, attempt to reach out to her, it's over. It's done. They live together. All right. You, there's been enough pain that's been caused. So if I get any sense of that, not only will you lose that gift of a deal where you have a chance to keep this charge off your record, you're going to jail. Okay. Are we on the same page with this, sir? Yes, sir. Ms. Yes, Damon, Ms. Damon, you need, to, obviously you need to see that I'm taking this seriously. I think you understand that I'm taking this seriously. So I like this judge, but it's the two in his feelings about this right now. Either smack him down, put him in jail right now, or don't. It, that, that, that's, that's the way I see it. I think the only thing more annoying than him doing it was her reaction to it. That, that's the way I see it. So 
if I see any more, more types of gamesmanship or manipulation or anything like that, um, it will be met with um, a strong response by this court. And, and basically you uh, sitting behind some jail cell, uh, some cell, uh, cell uh, behind jail bar doors. Okay, you got that? Yes, Your Honor. Um, my apologies. I'm, I'm, Your Honor, can I say something? Go ahead, ma'am. This judge seriously needs to work on the smack talk. I mean, seriously. He doesn't seem to understand the pain and the dishonor and the disrespect and the violation and the abuse and of what he's done to me. He says he was holding me. I was assaulted. He doesn't remember when he drank the six beers in the 45 minutes that he was outside of my house. Ms. Ms. Damon, can you do me a favor? And I'm sorry. Make sure, no, no, no. Can you do me a favor and make sure if you can't be here for sentencing, I'm hoping you can be, but if you can't be here for sentencing, if you could please detail for me, and, and could, because every victim has the right to make an impact statement, not only your experience that day, but how it's continued to impact you, because I need to know, I need to really, I need to understand what you've been going through. So if you could provide that to me, uh, I would be very, very grateful. Can you do that for me, Mr. Oh, she'll flip before that, that happens. She will absolutely flip. Damon? Yes, I can. And he needs to know he has broken my heart. He's broken my heart and betrayed me. Oh, but my little flower. Well, Miss Damon, obviously we're going to make sure, first and foremost, that you're safe. And there's going to be no f further abusive or manipulative or threatening or harassing or intimidating behavior by Mr. Godinez. And if there is going to be any sort of future no. behavior like this, Mr. Godinez, um, I've got 93 days in jail and, and I could impose that at any time. Ms. Damon, thank you so much for being here. And I'm so sorry that you continue to, to, to go through this. And I'm hoping that you'll be present at sentencing. And if you can't be present, please relate to me. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you know your experience. I would be very grateful to have that knowledge. Okay. Thank you. I did not choose this. I know. I know, ma'am. All right. So, Mr. Gadnez, make sure you um, you're going to get notice from my probation department. Um, stay away from her. No contact with her whatsoever. <laughs> all right. And stay on top of your drug testing. Do you understand that? Yes, you want. All right, ma'am. I'm still drug testing him. We're still on top of him with that. And uh, we'll see everybody back here for sentencing. Uh, good luck, ma'am. And Mr. Godinez, you're on the edge of a knife right now. Don't push me. <laughs> oh, good Lord. All right. Let, let, let me see if I can uh, pull up another one now. I'm very limited. I'm very limited at the moment. But, but I, I had another one I wanted to try. Let's do this. I'm asking if you have any other weapons. On January 5th, 2023, a traffic stop was conducted on the vehicle for displaying a fraudulent tag. Upon contact, the driver refused to provide legal identification or any paperwork related to the motor vehicle. The following is the body cam footage of the events that ensued. Uh, let me stop here. You can just send me another non emergency. Doc's <sighs> code three. How are you doing, sir? Welcome to the My name's also Dr. City of St. Pete. Reason I'm stopping is because you don't appear to have a valid registration on your vehicle. Ah, this vehicle is registered. Actually, excuse me. First of all, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm a foreign national. Mm -hmm. Um. This vehicle is registered under the Morris American National mm -hmm. yeah. Council. Council. 
Yeah, that's okay. Uh -huh. And under the treaty, you should be a friendship and a CNA yeah. council notification. So basically, what I'm asking is yeah, we'll get them right on the phone. Uh, are you familiar with uh, council notification access manual? I'm familiar with your uh, train of thought. Do you have your ID on you, sir? I'm asking, are you with um? Are you familiar with the CNA, the Council Notification? My front seat. Are you familiar with Council Notification? Yes. And my front seat. Yes or no? Uh, you, is your lieutenant? Yeah, I have a supervisor on the way, yes. Okay. Okay. But are you familiar with the Council Notification Access Manual? I'm familiar that with the Florida State statute requires your vehicle be registered with the state and that you obtain a valid full driver's license to operate within the state. All right. I guess he doesn't. Again, Florida state law requires that you have your vehicle registered with the state of Florida or any of the other 50 states, the and you have a valid driver's license United within the United States, States to operate the in Chicago. Now, at this point, I am giving you a lawful order to identify yourself because you're being stopped for a traffic violation. <coughs> Excuse me. Spike strips. <coughs> what? Uh, we'll speak to your um, lieutenant. You bring your lieutenant, please. please. My sergeant is on, well, a sergeant's on the way, not yeah, my yeah, sergeant. Bring someone who's uh, competent in council notification and um, notification access manual. You're not familiar. Thank you, 16. They're being non-cooperative. They're requesting a supervisor. You're not familiar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're hot. Get on of the tires. They're going to flee. <laughs> oh, that's it. I'm really sorry. Yep. I don't mean to offend. Okay. I'm asking if you're confident. Sir, um, you're traveling on the roads in the city of St. Pete in the state of Florida. National. Do you have your driver's license, registration, and insurance thing. on you? I am a foreign national. I'm asking if you're confident in your council notification access manual. Every sheriff and policy enforcer are supposed to be confident in that. Excuse me. Do you have your license, registration, proof of insurance on you? Yep, that card's not going anywhere. Okay. Unless you're confident in that, I'm, I don't, I'm not required to you, answer. You are required to you don't provide have that information during a traffic stop. <coughs> this I do is have a commercial stop, and I'm protected. She is confident that you are a big dummy. Protected by treaty law and obligations. So unless you are confident in um, the council of the national access manual, Oh, that's good. And if you fail to provide that information, you're obstructing this traffic stop, you will go to jail. I'm going to have to sue you. That's fine. Oh. Because you, you can provide the information, or you're going to go to jail. I'm not going anywhere. You need to provide. We're, We're going law. against the um, Article 6 of the Treaty of Peace and Friendship. Oh, oh no. I am, man. You have your driver's <laughs> license, registration, and proof of insurance on you. Are you familiar? Are you familiar? Did you know that it's actually my hobby to just stomp on the, the Treaty of Peace and Friendship on a regular basis? I, I would like you to know that before we proceed. Yes or no? Are you familiar? Stop it, corner. What country are you from? We are the Milwaukee Empire. Do you have identification on you so that I can so I can notify your consulate that you've been stopped? Yeah. I can call the consulate. Do you have, do you have identification on you? What country? Are, what you said you're from Morocco? What's your consulate? Moroccan. Do you have identification on you so I can call the consulate and see if they're familiar with you? The council did, and I give yeah. you don't actually have to answer the questions unless they have. Hey, hey, you got step out of the vehicle. Hey, hey, you're ready to give you the information. Stop. You need to step out of the vehicle. Sir, at this time you are under arrest. You need to step out of the vehicle. Step out of the vehicle. I'm trying to cooperate with her. Now you're breaking my arm. Ma'am, I'm talking to her. Do not touch me. Don't touch us. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Ma'am, excuse me. You need to have I a search warrant, a, a, a seizure Baraka. warrant, an arrest warrant, Baraka. but you have none of those things. Ma'am, sir, step out of the vehicle, please. Step out of the vehicle. I'm going to pull you from the vehicle. Baraka, I'm trying to tell you. You got to. You got sir, step out of the vehicle. I'm going to remove you from excuse the vehicle. Me. Excuse me. Right, stop let me it. show you my. I'll show no, you my. No, stop reaching. Stop reaching. Step out of the vehicle now. 
We have a foreign I have ID. A foreign Baraka. Stop. 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 We have a Stop. foreign ID. You Stop. Stop. Yeah. Let me see if I can put that. I need your ID. You guys, you do have to provide me. You do have to provide me. ID. Hang on. I, I need your foreign ID. That's IDs. fine. Do you have them? Yes. What do you need? My you can see it, but you cannot take it. What do you need? <laughs> Don't even look at it. Right here. Let me see it. So I let me see it so I can write it down. It. Okay, let me see it so I can write it down. I'll give it back. All right, you'll give it back. I'll give it back. Give it to me. Make sure you give it back. Can you put the car in park and turn the turn the car off for me? Put the car in park and turn it off for me. Put the car in park and turn it off for me, please. Put the car in park and turn it off for me, please. Listen. Obviously being very violent. Listen, I'm not trying to have any trouble. Okay. But we are under lawful right to give the treaty, a piece of friendship that we have with the U.S. Corporation of America. All right? Okay. You know what? I have this... these documents. I can show them to you. Okay. Do you have them? Uh, fortunately, I didn't bring them with me. Here, but I can... <laughs> oh, there's a place right over there that I can bring you with, and I can give you all my... Actually, yeah. actually no, no. I think I can bother Never leave home without your treaty of peace and friendship. <laughs> Oh, it's so good. What do you do? You have the CNA because uh, I can't. So, you guys are from, you were born in Morocco? You see that there? You see that there flag? That's the signal that we're supposed to have on our conveyances. The article four. I got a signal for you. <laughs> right here in my belt. United States, Morocco, and Ohio. That's your signal you're under arrest. This is a commercial stop and the treaty is to protect us. At this point, it's a Yeah, go ahead. Thank you. Sir, at this point, you are under arrest. You need to step out of the vehicle. For what? Obstruction. Obstruction of what? Obstruction of this traffic stop. We're not going to debate it. You'll have your day in court. You need to step out of the vehicle for me, please. This is not obstruction. Excuse me. There's right. no right. You're not. You're yes, going sir. against the Article not Six. Obstruction. And like I said, you'll have your day in court. No, speak? you're under arrest. Excuse you're we're beyond detainment. What am I under arrest for? I already advised you obstruction. Please step out of the vehicle. What am I obstructing? The traffic stop. Can I speak to you? I'm not obstructing. She's already ordered me to take him into custody. She needs. You need to step out of the vehicle. You can speak. She's on the outside. If you want me to. Okay, hold on. Let me get my vote real quick. Sir, I need you to not reach for anything else. I need you to step out of the vehicle. Hey, what are you doing with my? Step out of the vehicle. Let's go. Let's go. Step out of the vehicle. Hey, get on the ground. You're off with me. Get on the ground. You're not supposed to be doing this. You're off with me. You're off with me right now. Get on your stomach. Cooperate. Not worth it. Not worth it. Relax and cooperate. Y'all breaking the treaty. Article 6, Article 4, y'all breaking all the treaty laws right now. I'm not supposed to be doing this. Yeah. I'm going to roll on your side, boss. Do you have anything else sharp or going to poke, stick, stab, or cut me? What? I'm asking you if you have any other weapons here. That's, that's not a weapon. That's a tool for drywall. I'm a drywall manager. <laughs> I do drywall work. That's a tool. Uh-huh. This, this is heads of the hand. Now, There's no drywall. Well, this is against the law. You're allowed to travel. The treaty of peace and friendship is our protection and... Commerce. That flag is our signal that we're supposed to have. Y'all know this. Article 4. The banner that y'all wear. Well, that's y'all's signal that y'all supposed to go by. <clears throat> give my phone to my mother. <laughs> sit up. If I have anything on me, give it all to my mother. Absolutely. We're able to come right there. Go ahead and sit up. And anyway, stand up. up. This guy not only drives a minivan, but but announces to the police, give my phone to my mother. <laughs> Just bring your yes. leg in. Keep your knees up to your chest. Yes. Come on. All right. One, two, three. So I have to go through this mat and apply. She didn't want to comply. Comply with what? The traffic stop. It's a commercial stop. I don't know what traffic means. Traffic is commercial. I'm very aware of traffic is. I'm a traffic. Officer, go ahead and have a seat for me. I 
I am not consenting to this. You don't have to. It's time. Right. Step it out for me. Uh, Say, do you want to talk speaking. to the supervisor again? I'm going right? to take this off you, okay? Uh, I, I don't, don't. Do not grab that. That's a big mistake. Ma'am. Understand that, but don't grab it the weapon. Yeah, that's Ma'am, why are, you, why are you bothering me? What did I do? Can you step out of the car so we can talk to the supervisor like you asked? Ma'am. Are you gonna? Are you detaining me for any reason at all? For I what? Because I heard car. you speaking over there. I touched his hand. Yep, you grabbed me twice. I didn't mean. To, well, you know what? Ma'am, please step I, out of the car. Yeah, okay? yeah. Can I call my mom? Nope, you need to step out of the car. Yeah, yeah, and you did it on video. Are you detaining me? You're under arrest. Ma'am, yes, step out of the car. Ma'am, we can do this one of two ways. Step out of the car. Don't I don't. I don't. I, I don't want to get out. I know. Don't thank you. Then get out. Thank you. Well, you started out by dating dummy, and here are the consequences. Thank you. Oh, they are next level. They really are. Yes, ma'am. I need my phone because I need to be able to Oh, that's his mom? Yes, ma'am. All right. That's fine. Fair enough. Can I go here, Cruiser? Absolutely. I'm parked behind. I checked my prior statement. You you start you uh, started by by not correcting your your child when you when he went off the rails. Cruiser, let's go walk to that white one. Taking sixteen fifteen a second time. Registered to orbit leasing, but the last tag was twenty twenty. Was registered. Sanders. With a different date of birth. That's what he is. And I this is his name and I leads, and it says this is the alias. So if you pull this up and I the subject, identified as Baraka Sanders, was arrested and charged with operating a vehicle without insurance, no valid driver's license, operating an unregistered motor vehicle, resisting officer, and providing false name or identity to law enforcement. Subsequently, he was adjudicated guilty on all charges and placed on six months probation. However, after just five months, the court revoked his probation due to non-compliance with conditions, Good. including failure to fulfill financial obligations to the court, not obtaining a valid driver's license within five months, and not registering the vehicle and obtaining a valid tag within five months. Well, there you have it. Big shout out to Code 3. Big shout out to uh, Credence Mikey. I poached your streams. I was desperate. I was on the road. They're good stuff. It was a lot of fun. I had more, but uh, I, I saw it buffering. <laughs> I'm, I'm holding the stream together with uh, with uh, scotch tape and chewing gum. I, I think I'm going to quit while I'm ahead. Thank you all for coming out. I really appreciate it. I'll see you all soon.